Hey everybody, this is Kawhi. I wanted to create a quick video to show you how to set up a tricopter with either APM 2.6 or Pixhawk. So um, it's really actually pretty simple. I mean, it took me a long time to figure this out because there's not a lot of resource on the internet about how to do this, but um, once you see this video, then you'll see how easy it is. So basically, the way that the, the APM is configured is this. The right hand the right um, the right arm or the right motor is motor one and the left motor is motor two and the tail motor all right the tail motor is motor four all right not motor three motor four and the way that you do this is you connect the motor ESCs to um, the motor one output so basically the right hand motor should be motor one and the left hand motor should be motor two and the tail motor should be motor four output uh, here's another thing that's really important is that the servo remember that you know with a tricopter the yaw is operated by servo so you want to have the servo um, connected to motor 7 output alright something else that I do um, is that I either use ESCs without you know without a BAC or I take out the power um, pin on all my ESCs except for one okay I find that when you have especially on APM when you have all the ESCs plugged in um, and the power, uh, each one with its own power, it kind of screws up the flight controller and messes up the voltage meters um, because the APM is very sensitive and the PX, the Pixhawk less so. But I know that uh, it, you know, my best practice is always to take out, and you can see this right here, is I just removed the power, the red pin uh, from the ESC on. Uh, on you know, for instance, if I have three ESCs on a tricopter, I would take out the motor, you know, the the power pins on two of them, and just leave one. Okay, the one is going to be sufficient to power the servo, and that would be it. And I use I power the uh, flight controller with uh, power module. I don't use uh, the BSC from the ESCs to power. Okay, so. Uh, that's how you set up the. That's how you can configure the motor ESCs. And I'm going to show you how the servos should be should operate. So I'm going to arm the. Um, Arming protocol. Confirm GPS. All right, and you notice that um, right away it starts spinning. Okay, and you can. I, I've had this feature turn on for my multi-rotor because it's helpful to me you, but you can turn it off if you want to you, you don't have to have it spin up every time you have it armed I just find that whenever um, I know that uh, my, my uh, tricopter is armed because it's spinning um, and so basically here the way it works I'm going to put my um, my remote next to you so if you're going to be yawing to the left then your motor should be spinning to the right okay and vice versa all right do not make the mistake of trying if this is not happening for you if it's spinning in the same direction as your uh, stick then you want to reverse it but don't make a mistake of trying to reverse it in your remote control uh, you know it's not the this it's not how it's going to work because if you do that then you're going to screw up the arming mechanism what you want to do is you want to go into mission planner and go into the configuration uh, tab and you scroll down and there should be uh, it's kind of hard to find you have to look for it but basically you'll see each servo and if you look for um, if you look for servo number seven uh, then you can set it to number one and number zero uh, one of these is going to be reversed so, so basically if it's going the wrong way then you should just set it you know, for instance, if it's zero and it's going the wrong way, then you set it to one and vice versa. So basically, these are tips on how to set up your tricopter for, um, 
for using APM and uh, Pixhawk. Um, I think that's all I want to talk about in this video. And if you have any other questions, then feel free to post a comment um, on the video, and I'll try. To do, I'll do my best to answer it. But I have been finding um, that uh, once you have done this and you set up uh, the flight controller, um, I, you know, I really like APM and Pixhawk. I I I think they're extremely useful. Um, they're very stable, and I've been enjoying my time with. I built up quite about four. Uh, Motor rotors right now, one tricopter and, and three and two quads and one hexcopter using APM and Pixhawk. And I've been finding it to be, um, you know, once you know how to do it, it's pretty fun and the features are amazing. So, anyway, I hope this, this video has been helpful to you. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment.